my name's John, welcome to the second in a series of videos all about the extreme scanning camera. In the first video I drew around a flange, it was a turbocharger flange with a first tip pen. We scanned that, put it into the machine and cut that no problem at all. Lots of people have asked, can I just put on a, a sheet on a sheet of white paper, like the actual part, and scan around the edge of that. Well, there's only one way to find out, so let's have a go, see what happens. This is the part I'm going to scan, it's an AR40 collar chuck spanner. I keep lots of the bastard things, so I think I'll make another one. I'm also going to do the AR32 as well. So what I've got is a black spanner against a white background. We're going to try and trace the edge and then cut one out of six mil plate. Right, it's latched on. It's a really nice definition of the black and the white. It should follow this no problem at all. Right, so it's scanned that. You want to keep this scanned edge? Yes. So from there we're going to fail. Save. Give it a name. AR40. Could always call it bastard thing. Click save. Close that down. Close that down. Open sheet cam. Fail. Import drone. AR40, there it is. Open. Right, there's a the drone. That's not a bad representation. This bit here anyway, I will probably cut that off and weld on a piece of cap head bolt, something, something a lot stronger and a lot harder than mild steel. I think I've got some 6mm plates so I'll cut that out. Move across here. Outside offset, outline. Choose a material. We want quarter inch steel 6.5 sleeve things the way they are okay that's the cut path create a G code AR40 save okay
It's actually cut the part slightly bigger, which is better because it gives us plenty of material to play with to get this little, little notch right. It'll take a long time to wear it out. There's only that pin there going to break so I can weld a little bit of something decent onto there. Nothing much of matter with that really. That's a good fit in there. Right, so you can indeed scan direct on an object and cut it out. It did cut it slightly larger, but there is a facility in sheet cam to reduce it in size. You just need to measure it somewhere, take a measurement on the drone and scale it down accordingly. But this actually worked out great. It was probably one or two percent larger, which gave me enough metal to file it and make it a perfect fit. But I must admit, I'm uh, pleased I've got total loss now, total bastard things. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.